Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my backpack slash book bag slash school bag. I am going to be showing you guys this bag and everything that is in it and everything that I'll be using for my sophomore school year. Before we get too far into today's video, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video and go ahead and mention a few things about this wonderful brand. So let's get into the sponsorship very quickly. Hey guys, so sorry I'm interrupting this video really quick, but I wanted to hop on here and talk about the sponsorship of today's video, which is Madam Glam, which sent me gel polish for the perfect manicure or pedicure that you're looking for. I wanted to unbox this on camera for y'all and show you how nice the packaging actually is because Madam Glam is not like other polish brands or any other nail polish brand that I've seen before. First, it comes with a custom card and this just shows you like kind of what's in it and then the steps on the back or if you're new to this or anything like that. And of course, inside of here, we have this LED lamp. I haven't seen any other um, nail polish brand include the UV lamp for gel nail polish, so I'm super thankful for that. But here are the actual polishes that they sent me. They sent me this base coat and this top coat. I personally got to pick out three colors, so these are the three colors I chose. I got this color, it's called Salty Foam and it is almost a purplish like a lavender thing I don't know if y'all can see I'm trying to get it to focus for you guys so that's what it looks like it's just a lavender color the next color that I have is just this pink it's called Shaka or Shaka or something like that the last color that I have is called hollow lover and it's just a holographic type of pink thing which I really like because it's a lot different from anything that I've ever tried before but in this clip I'm going to be showing you guys how I get the perfect gel pedicure because specifically I have to do it on my feet because for cheer I can't have any nails at the moment but i want to show you that it's so versatile it can be for any type of nails and still look bomb make sure you use my discount code it's gabrielle c30 underscore one for money off the website or you can use the link if you click the link the discount code will already be embedded into it so you won't have to enter it again make sure to tap the pay with you go method at checkout so you don't become a vip member but if you do want to become a vip member and get exclusive discounts deals and more nail polish for you then i suggest becoming one and all those types will be at checkout so that's pretty much all i have to say about madam glam thank you so much once again for sponsoring today's video i hope you guys liked seeing how i do like a manicure or a pedicure or whatever you want to do i definitely recommend shopping with them everything that you will need will be included in the package and it can come out bomb every time like they will not disappoint so thank you so much madam glam make sure to click the link in the description to get the info about everything let's get back into this video okay so now we can get into what is in my backpack so i actually have a really big book bag unfortunately everybody makes like fun of me for it because i have such a big book bag and i'm so tall but i really don't care like if it's functional and it works i carry a lot of stuff so i gotta fit stuff in here but i think this is just an ll beam backpack it has a bunch of different compartments so i'm gonna go ahead and get into what is in each thing of this bag in this very back pocket here the furthest one back i actually have my computer my computer charger just because it looks like this on the inside so it has the spot for the computer and so I have my back book in here right now my school usually gives out Chromebooks but they didn't give me my Chromebook yet so I'm just using my MacBook at the moment and then I always keep my charger in this bag as well just in case I forget to charge up my computer the night before which happens way too often and I hate that so I just keep my computer in this compartment the one closest to my back when I put it on and then in this compartment I don't have anything in there right now it's just a small zipper but usually i carry gum in here my friend madison always hooks me up so madison i need you right now i'm in dire need of gum but usually i always keep that in my book bag just something i like to do and especially because our lunch is so short we don't have any other really times that we can eat so i just put gum in there so if i get a little bit hungry i can have something but i'm not too sure how sophomore year is gonna go how many breaks we're gonna have all of that so we'll see if i really need it but i love my gum anyway so i'm probably gonna get some anyways the next compartment that i have in this book bag is like this bigger section and when i open this up i have a lot of stuff in here in my last video or in my back to school preparations video i went school supply shopping and i did my hair my nails all of that but the full school supplies haul is in that video and the school supply shopping is in that video but this is the stuff that i'll be carrying for the first few weeks of school so the first things that i have are these two folders this is this marble folder and then i have this 
um, pink folder with dividers and the subject dividers are one for each subject I'm only taking four classes this semester so I should have like a couple extra ones but the idea is just to put the work for each subject in this and then I'm also taking a bunch of college classes which most of that work is online so I didn't think I'd have too many papers and it's way easier carrying two folders than carrying a big binder that weighs your bag down I got these from Staples and I find it really convenient I used folders all of last year for my subjects and it worked well my teachers didn't have a problem I didn't have a problem so I'm just gonna continue using my folders for each of my subjects the next thing that I'll be carrying in this pouch is this gray subject notebook I think it is three subjects I'm pretty sure I couldn't find any five subject at Staples but I really like this just because it's gray and it's neutral and I love neutral colors but this is college rolled I'm pretty sure and then it has the folders in here so I can also put extra work in there but I think I'm just gonna keep it in the folder and then next I have this black notebook just because this one is one subject and I didn't know if I was gonna have a class that I'd have to have a dedicated notebook in so for the first day of school I'll kind of feel it out and if I don't need both of them I'll just probably carry the gray one for now but I have this because I will be taking Spanish this year and when I took Spanish a couple years ago they made me have a dedicated Spanish notebook just in case any class wants me to have a dedicated certain subject notebook I can just leave it in the classroom so basically I have those two notebooks to write in but again I do like typing on my computer mainly the next thing that I have in this compartment is my planner so this is a 22 to 23 planner it is pretty nice like it's really nice it has like to-do lists and stuff it has the pages planners and then at the beginning of the month there's like an overall calendar and I just like using this for events and planning what I have in the school year and stuff and I will be trying out for cheer this year so this will help me organize everything for the fall semester so the last thing that I have in this big compartment is this pencil pouch and I have this pink pencil pouch and I love it because it is pink and I love pink. The theme for my school supplies is pink this year and I went more in depth about it in my last video but I wanted to show you guys what is in this pencil pouch. So I have a bunch of pastel highlighters. This is just yellow and pink ones but they come with like six or seven of them so there's just floating around in there. It's a bunch of pastel colors like blue, pink, green, peach, all of that. And then I have pens. This is just one of them, but this is one of my pens. It's all pink because I love pink and it has black ink. Fun fact, I actually write in pen. I don't write in anything else, so I love having pens around in my pencil case. But then just in case a teacher didn't accept pen or I had to take a test or something, I did get some mechanical pencils with 0.7 lead. I love how mechanical pencils are, like how I write with them compared to regular pencils. I haven't used a regular pencil in so long. I just really like mechanical pencils and I wanted to make a point of getting one this year to put in my book bag. And then of course I have the lead in here. I think the whole package that it came in gave me two of these but everything's kind of in a jumble in here. I'm trying to tell y'all there's like so much stuff. And then I have these regular pens just if one of mine runs out of ink. I used these last year and I found them and my handwriting was really good with them so I was like, why not just keep them? And then I have this big eraser. This is just really good for like group projects and stuff and if you have to erase something pretty big and you don't feel like using your whole pencil eraser then I love this. And then the last thing in the back of my pencil pouch are these post-it notes and this came in a bigger pack but I only have one in my pencil pouch and it is just pink post-it notes. I think these are super cute. It motivates me to take super cute notes and annotate while I'm reading and writing and all of that. And then in the next pouch, the farthest one up, I have all of my miscellaneous stuff. This isn't really miscellaneous it's all here for a reason but it's kind of the more random section of my backpack than the last two that we just saw the first thing that i have in this part are my glasses i do wear glasses actually i don't wear them as frequently as i should but i have prescription glasses as well as like a glasses cleaner teachers love to sit me at the back of the class because they know i can concentrate but they don't know that i'm blind so i always have to pull these out to save me so i actually know you know what's going on in the real world the next thing that I have in here is my lanyard which is like my keychain and everything all of this stuff off of Etsy I have this pink airpods case and it comes with this little puff so I just put on this keychain and then this is an off-white keychain it's just pink I really like it 
And then this is actually like an earphones holder, I think. I used to use it for masks, to put my masks inside. But as I don't have to wear masks this school year, I just have headphones in case my AirPods die and I need headphones for like an assignment or listening to music or something. And then I also have my charger in here in case I need to plug it up into my computer or I need it in school at any time if my phone dies. I also have my air tag and this just stays in the little holder thing just so that I can track my keychain wherever it goes because it has my airpods and everything on it and I like to know where that is so this is also in the front of my book bag the next thing that I have is this book this was my summer reading book and <laughs> I definitely procrastinated on this a lot but I do expect them to ask about the assignments and everything so I wanted to go ahead and put this in my book bag just so I would have it in school the next thing that I have in here is my umbrella. This is like a little travel size umbrella. I think my mom got it for me from like probably five below or something. It is just purple and I always use this. I never really thought I needed to carry around an umbrella until it would be pouring raining outside of my school and my hair would be freshly done and I was just trying to get to the car to go home. But I always had to use this in springtime so this definitely comes in handy. I definitely suggest that you get like a small umbrella to just throw in a book bag or a tote bag or whatever you're bringing to school. And and the last thing that I have in my bag is this like emergency kit. Me and my mom made this a long time ago, but this is my emergency kit, which is kind of probably what you guys have been waiting for. This is a bag from CVS, I think. It's pretty big. It just has all my feminine hygiene products, which is AKA period stuff. So there's a bunch of compartments in this. I'll start with this one. So in here, I just have Benadryl because I have really bad allergies and my eyes get all puffy. My nose starts running and I I just really can't function well. I have allergy Benadryl in here just in case I need it. And then I have these antibacterial wipes and these wipes basically help um, if you're on your period or anything. So I just have these in my emergency kit. Then I have a bunch of panty liners. So if you're coming up off of your period or it's about to come or just really anything really, I keep those in there just in case anybody needs them or I need them. And then the last thing in this side of it is this hand sanitizer and you never really know when you're gonna need hand sanitizer it's like a keychain so it hooks onto something I may as well put this on my lanyard that's what's in this section and then zipping that back up we'll go to the second section so in here I have an extra pair of like panties and these are just like old like granny panties basically but you really never know when you're gonna leak through that's like every girl's worst fear but it definitely happens so i have an extra pair just in case of that and i have more penny liners in here and i have a bunch of pads these are a whole bunch of pads in here and i also have a few tampons and in the very back i have plastic bags just in case if i did bleed through i could put the blood through stuff in the plastic bags and then put it in this if you get what i'm trying to say but this is kind of what it looks like it has this pouch and i should have advil in here for when my period cramps are like literally terrible because my first day of my period is hell on earth so i usually keep advil in here so that is basically everything in my bag but i just wanted to go through and like show you the details of this book bag in case you wanted to get it on the outside it is this pouch i usually just put like my masks in there or i used to put my masks in there but again i don't have to wear masks this year so we'll see how everything goes with that here i have another pocket it just zips down i used to put my phone in here and like some extra cash and stuff like that i put that in this compartment sometimes there's these like little clips on the side where you can tighten the backpack to make it a little bit flatter or you can extend it a little more to make it a bigger backpack so i really like that just if you don't want like a big thick backpack but i did get this book bag just because i do a lot of sports and sometimes i don't always want to have to carry an extra bag and so i can usually fit like practice clothes whether it's cheer or track and then of course there's two water bottle things on the side and i just put my water bottle in here for practice or for anything that i'm doing really so that is pretty much it to my backpack i think i got this a year ago for my freshman year i'm pretty sure it's held out really strong it's a really good material and it's not dirty or anything because it's black which is why i like black book bags because they are really hard to tell if they're dirty or not but that is everything that is in there
I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I will definitely have some more back to school videos. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for more back to school videos. Again, my last video was my back to school preparation. So if you want to see me get all done up for school like I am now, then I suggest that you watch that video. Of course, watch my back to school clothing haul to get inspo for clothes, not just your backpack stuff if you haven't already. But again, that will be the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching so much again. Make sure to follow all my socials. They will be linked down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.